Hello YouTube land, today we'll be talking about DC Multiverse, Ares, God of War, from the Wonder Woman movie. This figure was collected from gathering all the figures from the Wonder Woman line. Diana, Wonder Woman, Steve Trevor, Penelope, and her mother, Neapolita. Now, let's take a closer look at the figure. As we can look under the helmet, we can just make out a face. I don't know if you can see it there, but you might be able to see an eye or a little bit of his nose. Um, but the figure does come with a sword as well as a flaming shield. On his chest, he has a whole set of keys, and he also comes with the golden fleece. However, the golden fleece is not like I guess the match. But as we take his armor, very detailed. The only weird are boot. So except for his weird. But as we look at see his head go and can His chest function in it. This is waist. Right. His arms can by his they have what elbow and his take all the way. But as we look at we can see our blood. So they have lip does have a and a bend at the his ankles bring forward motion button. And let's do a weight check for God of War. We can see that he comes in at six point six ounces. And we'll do a height check. He's coming in at seven and a half inches tall. And now for a figure comparison, let's bring in the Stormtrooper that's laying down on the job. And we see that he is definitely taller than the Stormtrooper. And bring in Marvel Legends Paladin. And we can see he's still taller than Paladin. So we take these figures away and bring in the DC Multiverse Hazmat Batman. And we can see he is just a little bit taller than Batman. So final thoughts on the figure. It's a good representation of the God of War figure. Uh, the shield is very nice. The sword is uh, awesome, good size for him to hold. The only thing I find weird is that he doesn't have any boots um, because the rest of him is so highly armored up. If you do get a chance to get this figure, definitely add him to your collection. That's all for now, YouTube land. Remember, keep collecting.